The Aberdeen District Angling Association owns or leases extensive trout and salmon fishing on the rivers Dee, Don, Ithan and Fuch. The Crivs and Nether Don beats are the lowermost fishings on the River Don, extending from just below the Persley Road Bridge in the north of the city, right down to and including the estuary at Aberdeen Beach. The name Crivs refers to the weirs in the river that were once used by salmon netsmen to harvest the large runs of salmon that the river was once famous for. The beats extend for approximately two and a half miles of largely double bank fishing and provide an enviable location to fish for trout, sea trout and salmon. These beats fish at their best in low water, as migratory fish slowly make their way through the various pools and weirs. Their proximity to the sea means that almost all salmon and sea trout caught on the beats are very fresh. It is important to pay attention to the tide times as fish arrive in the pools following high tide. Although the occasional springer is landed from the beat following a cold winter, the best of the fishing for migratory fish starts with the arrival of the sea trout and grills in early summer and continues right through to the end of the season when the late running back end fish appear in the river. The Cribs Beat also provides outstanding trout fishing and numerous large brownies are caught here every year. There is abundant fly life on the river and the mature broadleaf trees that line the banks provide shelter for dry fly fishing even on the windiest of days. The top pool on the beach, Snuffies, is named after an 18th century snuff mill once located on the north bank, and not, as some more senior ADA members surmise, after a certain notable, though long departed lady of the street, Snuffy Ivy, who may or may not have plied her trade in the area in times past. This pool, located directly below one of the largest intact cribs or weirs on the River Dawn, features a fast streamy neck which can hold good numbers of salmon, a slower main body and then a faster paced glide towards the tail, where salmon often rest up after negotiating the rapids below. The streamy water at the neck and tree line north bank also holds many brown trout that can be seen rising freely in the spring and summer months. Immediately below Snuffies is a short section of white water, where running salmon occasionally pause in the small pots as they make their way through the fast water. In low water, nymphing for brown trout can pay dividends here. Below the fast water is Benzies, one of the top pools in the beat, a pleasure to fish for both trout and salmon from its neck right down to the tail. In the past, this was a spring salmon pool of some repute, and even now the occasional spring fish is still landed here. The main salmon lies are just below the streamy neck on the south side, the main flow on the north bank and the deep, rocky section towards the tail. The flat is, situated directly below Benzies, is a series of riffles and glides, a classic haunt of sea trout in the summer months. A pleasant walk along the riverbank path will take you to the scraper pool, some 300 yards downstream. This pool can be fished from either bank and is identified by the wires that cross the river. In low water, salmon hold in the main flow on the north bank. However, when the river is high, the best chance of a fish is in the slower moving water on the south side. This long wide pool also provides quality dry fly fishing for trout throughout the season. Down east, the next pool can also be fished from either bank and gives consistent sport for both trout and salmon. The main salmon lies are down the main current flow, particularly below the trees that overhang the north bank. Fish will lie on the south side in high water. The crossroads pool is named after the change in river flow that swings from the north to the south side. The change in flow direction seems to induce salmon to pause, thus creating a noteworthy ambush spot for running fish. A short distance downstream is the smiddy pool, best fish from the north bank. Its main center flow provides a salmon fly fisher with the ideal conditions to hover the fly enticingly over the many subsurface lies. Sea trout will lie right up in the fast water on the neck of the pool. I'm Lloyd Belton. I've been a member of the ADAA for three seasons now. I joined, I just moved to Aberdeen from South Africa and joined within a couple of months of moving here and I think it's the best decision I've ever made. What I really love about fishing here at Cribs is there's a lot of diverse water here. You've got really good dry fly fishing certain times of the year in spring. Uh, you've got really good nymphing and you've also got some salmon fishing too. So I've had my first salmon on the Don just behind me over here. The best aspect I think of Cribs is you'll always find the quiet corner that's um, protected from the wind. 
for me, I'm, I walk, it takes two minutes to get here, but for most people in town, you can get here within five minutes, you can be on the river within 10 minutes. I started salmon fishing in earnest this season, and it's been a steep learning curve, but thanks to other members in the association, have kind of guided me and given me tips and even lessons. My first season only having started fishing the beginning of August, I've had three salmon already. So despite the difficulties everyone's having with salmon, you know, you can definitely still catch salmon on ADA waters, be it on the Don or on the Dee. The Granham Bridge Pool provides a good high water fishing location. There are two main salmon holding areas, approximately 100 metres above and below the bridge. Fish rest at the tail of the pool on the north bank as they come out with the fast water below, and can also be caught above the bridge along the shelving river bed, fishing from the north side. The Bailey Bridge Pool is a hot spot for both sea trout and salmon, which can be caught in the fast water above the bridge as they briefly pause before running through the thin water above. The main body of the pool is on the south side of the river, and there is a good salmon lie directly below the bridge. There follows several hundred metres of slow water down to the new Granham Road Bridge. While being of little interest to the salmon fisher, large numbers of trout can often be seen rising here. Below this section of slow water, the river splits into three streams around an island, where the netsmen once operated. Salmon used to run up the north side of the island, but following a landslip some years ago, virtually all the fish now run up the south side, adjacent to the intake for the small-scale hydropower plant located there. Where the three streams rejoin each other below the island to reform the main river is Becker's, which can provide excellent sport with salmon and grills, as it is the first holding pool that salmon reach after leaving the tidal water below. Running salmon will often stop in this pool before deciding which of the three streams to navigate. Fish can be taken from right up in the streamy neck all the way down through the main flow of the pool. It can be quite a spectacle, albeit fleeting, as a shoal of grills arrive in the pool straight out of the sea. Hi there, and my name is Jerry Hawk, and I'm a relatively new member of the association. I joined about three years ago uh, as a complete beginner, and uh, I've really enjoyed my time in the association. Everybody's been really supportive and helpful, and I feel like I've come on in leaps and bounds in terms of learning how to fish and getting out in nature, uh, even right in the middle of the city, right here in places like Crifts. There is a good walk down the north bank to the next set of pools. Alternatively, it can be accessed by driving down to Seaton Park, one of the jewels in the city of Aberdeen's municipal portfolio. All the pools in this section of the river are subject to tidal influence and are most successfully fished from just before high tide and as it starts to fall back, as any fish that have decided not to run the river will drop back with the tide to the deep water below. The dike pool is better fished from the north bank because of the high dike from which it takes its name. The pool can be accessed from the north bank by walking down from Becker's, or, in low water conditions, it is possible to wade across from the south side through the shallow water upstream of the pool. This pool fishes well all the way down, but two of the most productive taking points are the small pot right up at the neck, where an angler can seductively dangle a fly, and at the tail of the pool just out from the trees on the Seton Park side. The Seton Meadows pool changes appearance dramatically depending on the state of the tide. The best of the fishing here is probably at the beginning of the ebb as the pace of the current picks up, imparting increased action to one's fly or lure. It can be fished equally well from either bank but is most easily accessed from the Seton Park side. Salmon and sea trout are caught here from early summer through into the autumn. The Devil's Rock Pool takes its name from the large rock that rises out of the river towards the tail of the pool. Again, a wonderful sea trout and salmon pool, best fished on the ebbing or low tide, in the fast neck and productive stream below. The pool is most easily accessed and fished from the Seton Park side, as fish tend to lie off the current on the north side in the deeper water amongst the rocky ledges. The ADAA has the fishing all the way down to the Dawn Mouth at Aberdeen Beach. These tidal pools and runs can provide excellent summer sea trout fishing as fish move in and out of the sandy estuary on each tide. Trails and dames, loons and clines, manies and wifies and everybody in a queen. The fishing of game, you want to get better value for your seller than membership with the Aberdeen and District Angling Association. So come and join us. <laughs>